Hey, hello, folks. Uh, so we are back again, and we are back again with Dave on the hot seat. This time he's going to attempt one of the questions which we had, I think, asked in the earlier uh, sort of session. And here is the question. If you had uh, attempted it, uh, please feel free to check out the answer. Uh, if you already know it, yeah, you know, you maybe you can skip this part. But if you would like to stick around to for us or rather for the hours through and arrive at the answer, please feel free to. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, so let's uh, hand it over to you. Hey. Hello. Hey. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think so. This question is uh, so whoever are new to this video, I can little bit like explain this question that initially what we are doing here is that you have an integer uh, and you are assigning 5 and 2. And then you are taking the pointer uh, of that integer, right? And then you are assigning it to a character pointer and then updating few, uh, you know, character pointer field uh, mm -hmm. of, of that memory, right? And then finally you are printing, uh, you know, A, right? So we, as, as of now, we know that, okay, somewhere A will be updated because you are accessing the same memory as uh, where the A is stored. Right, so you are, you know, essentially updating the the bytes of a uh, with the help of a pointer p, uh, right? Uh, so let me go through each line and uh, explain what each line does, right? And what happens when we execute every you know single line here. Right. So before that, let me explain what is a five one two. So when you do this, int a is equal to five one two. So a here is defined and given four bytes, right? So, so we will allocate four bytes to a, uh, a variable, right? And let's say that a is allocated at address 0x400, right? So it would have the addresses, uh, you know, its first byte will be stored at, uh, you know, 0x400 and then followed by 0x403, uh, you know, until 403, right? So four byte is uh, essentially allocated to A, right? Uh, now here I'm assuming that it is a 32 bit uh, system, right? So that mm -hmm. the addresses would be four byte as well. Right. And, and then integer would also occupy four byte. Uh, yeah. I think that's a fair assumption. Yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. also, uh, what I am assuming here is that I am uh, assuming this is a little endian, right? Mm -hmm. So the first byte will be stored at zero uh, x four hundred, mm -hmm. and then the first byte, as in like the the least significant byte, uh, will mm -hmm. be stored at zero x four hundred, mm -hmm. and then followed by uh, other bytes. Up, up until 0x403, right? Right. So maybe, Dev, can you uh, take here, let's say, 512 as an example and right. show us like how, what memory contain what yeah. value? Yeah, I think this is a good idea. So uh, let me take 512. Mm -hmm. uh, this is 512. Okay, this is not hex. Hmm. So if we represent it in the binary format, mm -hmm. so this would be 0x. So this is two to the power nine, mm -hmm. right? So it should be, uh, okay, so one is two to the power zero. So it's it's at zeroth index. Mm -hmm. Now, this is two to the power nine. So the ninth index would be, the mm -hmm. ninth index, yeah, would be one. So this would be. Uh, right. Yeah. And then if I have all the other bytes of A, Right. Hmm. So, so okay, we have one, two. I think we'll need one. More. Yeah, one yeah. more uh, yeah. four bits. Yeah. Awesome. So this is we are assuming that this is uh, at address zero x four hundred. Right. So this, this is like is... how humans would read a binary right. number, right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, just so reviewers are aware, this is not how you know memory is, memory is laid out. It is laid yeah. out as a array of bytes 
Yeah. So yeah, yeah, they will tell you know how it is. Yeah. So level. yeah. So zero x four hundred will have this content, uh, the this least mm. significant byte, right? Mm. Mm. So this will be the content of zero x four hundred, mm. and then zero x four hundred one will have uh, content the next byte, right? Mm. So this is the byte uh, one. So I am storing here, mm -hmm. and then zero x. Four hundred two, and then zero x four hundred three. Right. Right. So these two bytes will have uh, all values zero. Right. So mm. this is MS uh, in the most significant byte, and right. this is least. You know, some. I like byte. the third byte. Yeah, third byte. So, yeah. So this is how it is. Uh, you know, put in the memory. Right. 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 Uh, we are assuming that zero x four hundred is some memory address, right? Mm -hmm. Which is given to A, and and assuming that it is also represented in the literal Indian format, mm -hmm. right? If it were big Indian, then uh, these would have swept, right? So four zero three would have this byte, right? And then four zero two. So it would have reversed. reversed. The order would have been reversed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and now, so. Since we are assigning the address of A to a pointer P mm -hmm. with the character pointer, right? So, uh, so the P would essentially point to a single uh, address, right? Mm -hmm. Single mm -hmm. byte, right? Because right. it's it's of type character, right? Mm -hmm. So P here is zero x four hundred, right? Correct. So this only points to this first byte mm -hmm. in the memory, right? Right. And now. Uh, if I do, let's say, p of zero, right? Mm -hmm. Then this is essentially the first byte, mm -hmm. right? If I do p one, right? So before I, uh, you know, explain anything, let me uh, explain how this p array of something is uh, calculated, right? right? So let's say array of i. I want to calculate the array of i address mm -hmm. i ith address, right? So mm -hmm. This would essentially be equivalent. Okay, I am assuming this is the equivalent. This maybe you know. <laughs> okay, and let's this is let's do double du double equals to. Okay. 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 This is equivalent hmm. to uh, star of address hmm. plus i, right? Hmm. So it's essentially. And uh, here, uh, what would be the data type of r? Uh, array data type could be anything, uh, and then based on that. Uh, we will be shifting by ith position. So let's say if Are array you, is sure? of, uh, yep. So if if the array of type character. So let me uh, you know elaborate a bit more mm -hmm. that if array is of type character, then uh, so this would be the base address, mm -hmm. right? So the the array which is pointing to the first uh, byte of the address, right? So here that we will put the first byte and then plus i. So here. Uh, since array is of type character, so it would only add i to that, uh, you know, base address. Right, right. right. Oh, you are saying that uh, because it is type character, compile will, compiler would automatically know yes. the size of right one yeah. element, and then it would increment by that. Uh, right. Yeah. Type. Yeah. And let's say if array were of uh, type integer, right? Mm -hmm. So this would it still be similar to this. Mm -hmm. But since here uh, arrays of type integer, so it would uh, you know uh, so advance per the I, pointer by per, four. Yeah. So yeah. per element, it would advance by the yeah. size of that element. Basically. Yeah. So here, what it would do is uh, whatever is the base address, right? Mm -hmm. Address of array, uh, the numeric value, whatever numeric mm -hmm. value is here, and then plus i into hmm. size of int, right? Size of the data type. Yeah. Huh. Uh, size of data type, okay, int, yeah. Right, right. Or can I say, how can I calculate the type of a variable? I think there is a type of as well, but you can ah, just write. Okay, type of array, right? But it's not, I think it's part of standard library. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It depends, you know, some yeah. compilers do provide. Hmm. So I can essentially just write int, right? So hmm. this would yeah. mean that size of int is four. Uh, in this case, so it would advance uh, 
i into 4 right the yeah. base address right 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 now here since the p is of type character a pointer uh, hmm. so it doesn't so, matter our size yeah. of whatever the value would always be one so yeah. increment by that yeah so here so if let's say the p is pointing to hmm. 0x400 so this would essentially be uh, 0x hmm. 400 plus 0 right plus 0 into size of character yes so that would be essentially one essentially, so yeah yeah one and then this would be like 0x 400 mm. uh, plus uh, here 1 into size of character mm. right so that is still again still one. 1 yeah yeah so what i'm essentially doing here is that i'm uh, updating this 0x 400 mm. right so this this would essentially be 0x uh, 0x400, right? Hmm. Okay, I need. Yeah. I typed O. And this would be essentially be uh, 0x401, uh, right? Right. So, what I'm typically doing here is that I am updating this 0x400 byte hmm. and then th in the next hmm. 0x401 with the right. values 1 and 2, right? Two. So, uh, let me copy it here somewhere down there. So this is my number and I'm updating this with one, right? So right. the entire byte will be modified with 0x, mm -hmm. 0, 0, okay, 0, 0, 0, 0, mm -hmm. and then 0, 0, 0, 1, one. right? Okay. So that would be one. Maybe do you want to delete the upper 27th line so that it doesn't confuse? Uh, this one? Yeah. Because okay. this now number is getting modified. Yeah, yeah. I think that that should have been synchronized. Yeah. Right. And then four zero one with value two. Hmm. Uh, okay. Four zero one with value two. Okay. Hmm. Here four zero one is already with value two, so this will not be modified. Or rather, rewritten with the same value. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And awesome. then nothing happens further so essentially uh, if we club everything together again so let's say we only, are like integrating yeah. now you know yeah. a value basically. yeah so this was initially for hmm. uh, one so we only updated this uh, with this number right uh, this hmm. one hmm. right so let me copy paste it here so this byte was modified with this hmm. and then this was anyway modified with the same value same value. so nothing changes but i can still copy it here hmm. so so this will be our final uh you know a right hmm. so here this would be uh if we bring it back to the de uh, you know the decimal hmm. type then this is i think 513 is that correct yeah, sounds about right right yeah because it just added one at the last bit. So right. Yeah. yeah. So whatever. So the answer of the print would be five one hmm. three. Yeah. Nice. And then like here, uh, you know, it, it doesn't also, matter. You, mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. It, it doesn't matter if, if we are storing the data in the big endian or little endian, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It's just the way that the data is stored in the memory. But uh, right. Even if w it were a big Indian, we would have modified the same bytes. Are you sure? Right? Uh, like not not the positions, but the you know but the, uh, relative let's position of. Let's say if the uh, data was stored in big Indian, would the right. answer still be the same? Yes. Yeah. So okay. I think in in that case, right, like this would have been put here, right? And then whenever we accessed this, it would have modified only this number, right? Would and then if we, yes. And then when we modified this, then it would have modified this. I think it's a, it's a good question. Let's come back to it. You know, maybe it's a question for our viewers. So the, mm -hmm. uh, so they attempted, uh, you know, this question and our assumption was that the machine is set up as little Indian. Yeah. Now a corollary to this question would be, let's say if, we assume that the machine was big in Dane. What would be the mm -hmm. answer now? Right? Maybe we'll attempt it in the mm -hmm. uh, next uh, session. Okay. So, so my answer would be same, and my thinking is that it just uh, 
uh, way where you put the data mm-hmm. but whenever you still access and modify the data mm-hmm. it would be modified the same number of bytes okay. right like let's say we uh, you know modified the 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 zeroth byte in other case it would have been third byte but when we bring it back to decimal it would be the same number right so but we are not they mind you on line number 4 and 5 mm-hmm. we are not changing the index of pointer p ah okay right Maybe. i think we have given we have, we have given yeah. away enough hints uh, yeah, so okay. we'll let our viewers you know attempt oh, man. maybe you so, know you can so I, you can i have made a big comments. mistake here no 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 it's fine it's because fine. i thought the p is still integer okay <laughs> i got it okay i yeah, got yeah. it yeah so we never touched the end. by yeah. third it's a, it's a, it's it's a enough end for our viewers yeah. anyway i th- i think this is a, you know nice feedback for me as well no problem no problem i yeah. think with that uh, so those by the way those who i think i i saw a lot of people attempt this and mm-hmm. quite a few people also you know correctly uh, got through the number 513 so those of you who did uh, i'm really glad you attempted and you know uh, sort of took an effort to reply back mm-hmm. uh, i think it, this uh, sort of questions are you know deceivingly simple it looks simple but then you know it involves a lot of nitty gritty details like you know assuming a lot of stuff where you know you have to uh, think about loud and say hey i am assuming four bytes of integer then you know i am assuming a little end and begin in system so this kind of tests a lot of your you know knowledge without actually explicitly asking so yeah. you know our main goal here was to sort of make you folks aware that please call out you know the assumptions which you have out loud so that you know you tell that hey i know about it right so for example little indian big indian here it was a and i think uh, kudos to dev he called about uh, aloud you know in the very beginning so that it sets a decent enough stage for the uh interviewer and you as well uh yeah it sort of you know aligns everyone and keeps everyone on the same page and after that i really liked you know how you represented the memory so i think this is this should be you know able to convey your thoughts uh, very precisely what byte you are trying to point to what byte you are modifying this was really cool you know just as you many address uh if folks if you are assigned or rather asked a question regarding pointer just do not i would say hesitate in assuming an address and you know trying to draw out stuff and then you know think out loud i think that would be the feedback which i would have and yeah dev do you want to add anything here uh yeah i think uh, i think i agree with all of your points that whenever you make any assumptions you might be making those assumptions without even you know thinking about them right yeah it's like subconscious, subconscious. but uh, our request would be to you know make it conscious right. uh, tell out loud yeah so whenever you are thinking that okay there may be some catch here try to yeah. you know uh, put that assumption in front of the interviewer and then at least ask them whether you are assuming it correctly or not right yeah. and if if they say yes then you are on the right path if they say no then anyway no point wasting for the time right? right if you did not tell the assumption and after a point right let's say you spend 20 minutes and after a point the mm. interviewer realizes that you have assumed something which is not correct so you wasted 20 minutes of time right right, right? so you could save that time just you know telling you know you know informing the interviewer uh, you know mm. early enough or whenever mm. you are thinking or assuming something mm. right makes sense make it more explicit that's yeah. the summary okay uh all right folks i think with that uh, we will see you in the next one and please feel free to attempt the same question but now with the assumption of that everything is begin day right yeah. and yeah we'll see you in the next one uh thanks for sticking around and see you all right bye-bye. yeah bye bye